Hi everyone, this is Shannon from theirishscrapper.com and today we are creating this cute little box that has a little um, lid to go with it, so a 3D item. Um, just for size sake, it's kind of the height of one of our liquid glues, so you can imagine that's about little about four inches high um, so it's a nice little size box I am using the varied vases uh, stamp set to decorate um, our box so let's go ahead and jump in and get started we're gonna talk about our base as well as our top so I have my stamp and trimmer here I have a piece of thick whisper white this is cut um, ten and a half by six and a half on the short side I have scored at two and a half. Okay, so that's our two and a half. On the long size side, we are going to score at um, two and a half. I'm going to open up my arm here because we're going to need it. I'm scoring at five. I'm scoring at seven and a half. And then again at ten. Okay. So hopefully you can see we've got quite a few marks there. Um, while we have our trimmer out, we're going to go ahead and do our top. So this is a piece of Pretty Peacock. This is six and a half square. And I have scored it at one inch and all on all four sides. So one inch all the way around. As well as two inches all the way around. So if we go this way, we'll do two, 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 and two. Okay, and that's going to give us all these lines, and that's going to give us a little bit of a reinforced um, style box. Okay, so I guess we'll start with our top, since we're going to go ahead and um, burnish all of our four lines. This is such a great little size box. Um, it can be used for many different things. Very happy with the size of it. Okay, so we have done that now. Now for our cutting. Let me see. Let me grab my bigger scissors. We are going to cut up to that two inch score line on both of these sides, okay? We're gonna cut this outside one off, so I'm gonna come in as, at an angle. All right, we're gonna trim the bottom one off. Let me see, this might help, this might be easier to see. And then we're just gonna angle our remaining little square, okay? So we're gonna do that all the way around. So again, we're gonna cut up. Cut up, we're gonna cut off there at an angle. Cut that one. Let's hold this back. And let's just cut that corner off there too. Just like that. And actually I'm going to trim a little off the, these two sides as well. Okay. There we go. All right, let me get all those scraps. Okay, so while we're here, I'm gonna do the adhesive while we're at it um, before we get into our our bottom piece. So I'm going to take um, a bit of tear and tape, grab my snips, I'm going to put a touch on these tabs, so the little the little tabs. Okay, and then I'm going to put some tear and tape on our inside tabs. Let me find where I So this is the outside, this is our top. Now we're going to move on um, to our box. 
So a same thing, we're going to burnish. Here is that little half inch here, small piece that we left. Burnish these. Okay, and then we're going to do our one here. Okay, oops, I have something on my desk. So this um, score line here is actually the bottom of our box. So we're going to use that um, to help us with our stamping to kind of line things up. So we're going to grab our pretty peacock. I'm going to grab my vase. And I'm going to pull this a little bit closer to me. Hopefully I'm still in frame here. And we're going to stamp our vase. Trying to, trying to keep them close to that score line. A little harder to do with my camera on. Let's see here. Okay. Okay. That looks good. All right. So now. We are going to pair that with Mary Merlot, and we are going to grab our um, floral image, and I'm going to try to just kind of eyeball this. So I, I really don't want to get ink past probably about that, that point there. So you can use a little post-it, or you can just do your best to kind of eyeball that. Whatever, you know, makes the most sense for you, whatever you're comfortable with. And then I'm going to stamp that down. More. Look at that. So those look pretty good, most of them, except that one. All right, let me grab myself a little piece of scrap paper here. I should have had this ready on my desk um, just for this edge. Okay, we are going to grab the fill, and I just want to make sure I have this lined up. Let me see. Yeah. We're going to stamp off with the Mary Merlot, and then we're going to come in, and I, again, trying to stay in frame but not make you look at my head, fill that in. Stamp off, fill that in, all right, so not too bad, could have been a little bit better, things are always more challenging when the camera's on. All right, so now for this cutting, we are going to cut up, again, this is that little half inch score. And I'm going to angle that and this corner. Let's see, did I not go all the way in? There we go. All right, and then we're just going to cut up our score lines. So now, let's grab our tear and tape here. Again, I'm going to put this down the tab. Grab my little snips. Okay. And then what I'm going to do, peel that back. I'm going to lay this. Why doesn't that want to come up for me? Here's my piercing tool. There we go. All right, and we're just going to line that up. Okay, so that will be our back. So we will take our sides, and then we will take our front here. I'm going to grab my liquid glue. 
Now that's the one I kind of mitered, so I'm going to hide that one actually. I don't like the way that looked. Okay. And then we're just going to do that. Okay, so I like to put my bone folder or something in there, give it a nice, nice press. So you can see this is still our back. There's where that seam is. This is our front of our box. Okay. And here is that liquid glue, like I told you. It's about deep enough to hold that, so that's a little tip. All right, now with our top, we are going to um, just stamp this floral image again in the pretty peacock. Just to give it a little bit of a, a pattern itself. So again, I'm not doing the stem. I'm just um, stamping the floral floral part. We are going to assemble it just like this. So let's take our tear and tape off of our little tabs first. Now you can you could have done your stamping before you put down your tear and tape like I did. Whatever you're comfortable with. And then we're going to go ahead and Bring those up, give ourselves a little, I'm not going all the way to the corner, so I'm giving myself a little bit of wiggle room, okay? You don't want it to be too tight on your box um, so that it squishes it, okay? And then you can see here is our tabs with our tear and tape again. So now we can peel that off. And this is what I mean by reinforced. You'll have a little extra strength with this extra piece folded, folded down. Okay. So let's put all of those in just like that. And then there is our box top. Now we're going to do a little bit more decorating. So I have a piece of our Pretty Peacock Ribbon. This is about almost seven inches. I'm going to put a touch of tear and tape on the ends. And we're going to create a nice little bow here. So let's take, take that backing off. All right, now let me just look. My box is going to go like this, so I want my bow to go like that. So I've taken the tear and tape off of that one side. Now I'll get it on this side. Oh, I think I took it with it. Whoa. Let me give that a little press. There we go. All right, now let me try this again. All right, so we can tuck tuck that in there. All right, so we're starting to make progress. Now let me grab myself another bit. So I just want to, I'm going to make a little loop here. I don't have, I have all my ribbon loose here on my desk. So let me see. Um, yeah, that looks about right. I'm going to cut this where I put my ribbon scissors. I'm going to give this a nice little trim. So let me measure this. This is about seven inches as well. Okay, so I'm going to add a little tear and tape um, to this edge also. Okay, and then we're going to just create ourselves a nice little loop like that. So that looks about a good size. So I'm going to hold my finger on that. I'm going to grab my tool here and help me lift up this backing. There we go. 
And then we're just going to fold that in on itself. Okay, so now we've got a little loop. I have another little piece here of ribbon, and we are going to use this to create our little ball. Okay, so we will add another touch of tear and tape. We love our tear and tape today. Let's kind of hide our hide our little seam there in the middle. Okay, so I'm gonna wrap that around. We're gonna close that. And look at that. And our bow still moves. Um, so I'm gonna add some more tear and tape. You could use glue dots, but I just like I think the tear and tape is a little bit stronger. So I definitely prefer it for this type of project. I gotta try to get that off again. All right, come on. There we go. All right, so there is the front. Let's, let's see. We are gonna go this way with our, our bow. So there you go. There is our little box. So you can see I had a little bit of trouble with my stamping today. It happens, but I do hope that you um, can still see from the video, you know, how to recreate this. It's a great little size box. I love um, how easy it is for the stamping if you use your score lines um, to create your, your bottom or your base and then having a nice little sturdy top and using um, your ribbon to do a nice little fun bow. So I do thank you guys so much for watching and I look forward to being back with you real soon. Thanks again. Bye-bye.